So you come into Lowe's or Home Depot and you see all this pipe. Which pipe should you use for your project? The answer is not that simple. Each project is a little different. So there's different applications for different pipe. But today we're gonna to use three inch pipe. Wait till you see how we solve this problem around the pool deck. It is amazing. Three inch pipe, save all kinds of money. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, when you have a pool deck and it's got a channel drain around it, it could be large or it could be small. This is micro channel drain and we just cleaned it. But without a discharge for that channel drain, the water will go nowhere. So this is a pretty interesting job because we don't have a lot of fall from the channel drain to where it goes through the wall. Let's take a look and see how we fixed and solved this problem. Okay, the other day we showed you how to clean this channel drain, but remember, they must discharge somewhere. You can see the puddle of water. It rained you know, yesterday. The water can't escape from the, from the patio. There's no place for that water to go. So we need a drain and it has to come through this gravelly bed. And what it's gonna do, is going to discharge. There is a six inch opening through the wall right there. So again, so again, we need to have drainage from the end of the channel drain. So we're coming straight over here to the wall and we're gonna take this pipe and go down the wall. This is just three inch line and it's gonna discharge right over here at this six inch opening. It might be a little high, but we'll check it out. If, if it is, then we're gonna core some holes in this wall to allow drainage from this area. Okay, you can see they got this opened up, looking good. Water will drain from this side without any problem. Let's go over here and look at this one. Oh yeah, that water's coming down the trench. I see another core. There's another opening right there. That's good. And over here, did the water disappear? Yes, it did. And we can actually see the end of the channel drain. A little bit covered with mud there, but that water comes down the trench. We'll turn and it come all the way through. Now there is another opening right here. You see that? See it, Adam? Yeah, how is it now? So we're looking good. So rather than use a catch basin, normally we put a catch basin here, but we don't have much fall to get out to that core. You see that little hole in the wall over there? So we're just gonna butt the pipe right up to here, gravel around the section. As water comes down the channel drain, it'll just go into the system and you can carry it away over to that corner. Discharge of any channel drain is so important. That water has to go somewhere. And if you've noticed, as you've watched many videos, other people's videos about channel drains, when they install this, they just end it at the end of the concrete. I guess they think that water is just supposed to evaporate, but it needs an outflow. It must discharge. And now we're gonna gravel right up here by the channel drain. Yeah, we're gonna fill that with gravel. As water comes down the line, it'll go down to the gravel, into our pipe, and it's gonna go right out there. This is one of the best jobs for the do-it-yourselfer, and you can truly save thousands of dollars. What we've done is use three-inch PVC. We butted it up directly against the discharge of the channel drain. We use the gravel as the filter. You don't need fabric. The gravel will keep the debris out if you do this properly. Start by laying out some plastic so that you can keep that top gravel clean. Next, go ahead and excavate. Set your dirt directly on the plastic. Once you have this installed, you're ready to backfill. Okay, let's finish putting this together. We'll put a 90 on that corner and we'll cut that to length. Always stand on your pipe when you're backfilling. That way you can make sure that it doesn't pop up out of your trench. Especially when you've got water underneath of your pipe. Can you see all that water? Remember, we just opened up the channel drain, so all that water went down the, the new trench and is underneath of our pipe. This is solid pipe, but we don't want it to float up. So it takes a lot of soil to hold it down. 
Get as much soil as you can and then stomp on it. That looks good. Now just stomp on the corner. Good. Now we can backfill. Pretty hard to put pipe together when you're tired, bending over. Some people think that's the fun part of the job, but I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of effort to put pipe together. More effort than you imagine. Perfect, push it down in there. Because we found that extra core through the wall, we're able to attach a T here to help this discharge. We actually have a full bubble of fall, but adding that T is gonna help a whole bunch. Okay, so we finished the channel drain, and basically you saw us put that three inch pipe. All it's doing is butting up against the end of the channel drain, and then there's gravel around that area. As water comes down through the channel, it just goes through the gravel into that pipe and discharges out that six inch hole. Remember, we did find, right here by this rock, we did find another core that was obsolete. We used that. We brought this section of the channel drain over here, brought that down, 90s, and down there by that rock, we turned it with a T so, so that that drains out through the wall as well. But we also continued it. So here's the pool discharge. You can see it comes out quite well. And that other discharge is actually underground somewhere right over here. This is Candela and she's from Argentina. She is the housekeeper here in this home. I asked her if she would translate the saying that I use at the end of every video and she happily agreed. Hola, mi nombre es Candela. Si crees en algo, te aseguro que lo vas a lograr. I also asked her if she'd be interested in translating all of the videos to Spanish because I know that we have a lot of Spanish viewers. So maybe here in the future, we will have some subtitles in Spanish. Okay, coming up next, gutters. They need to be cleaned. Gutters need discharge. They must have an outflow. These gutters on this home have never been cleaned. Downspout must drain for you to have proper drainage for your rainwater drainage system. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.